monoxide. I often ask people, <coughs> what's the difference between dihydrogen monoxide and water? What's the difference between H2O and water? Does anybody know the difference between H2O and water? Put up your hand if you know the difference between H2O and water. Okay, I'll give you a clue. One is a proper superset of the other. So H2O, or H2 orchestra, H2O-R-C-H-E-S-T-R-A, and H2O could mean ice or water or steam, but water specifically means dihydrogen monoxide in its liquid state. Ice refers to dihydrogen monoxide in its solid state, and steam or vapor refers to dihydrogen monoxide in its liquid state. So we're H2 orchestra. We make sound instruments that make sound from H2O. Over there is the pegaphone, slabs of ice struck by mallets. Pego is the Greek word for ice, and phone is the Greek word for sound. Does everybody know what a xylophone means? Xylophone means wood sound. Xylo means wood in Greek, and phone means sound. So I made up that word, pegaphone, but it's proper etymological Greek. Pego means ice, and phone means sound, and slabs of ice. And we have in the middle here these kettles on the table. That's the hydratmus phone, an instrument that makes sound from steam. The Greek word for steam is, or vapor is hydratmos, so that's the hydratmos phone. So we have the pegaphone, the hydrolophone, and the hydratmos phone. So let me play my favorite song here on the hydrolophone.